Yeah, I too, and having uh, look, we were here last um, Friday, as you no know, discussing this, and uh, you know, I had um, uh, my, my, I made my views very well known. We have a number of amendments down as well. I want to thank Breen in our office as well for doing the research and back up. But it's all a, a useless, um, a futile effort because Minister, as I said last week, and I'll say it again. Um, you have touched uh, on, on, on Tave Shaw and on talk. You were opposed to, and you were standing up vigorously opposing. And uh, first of all, to put on the record that each and every one of us, including myself and my five colleagues in the rural independent group, uh, supported this from day one. And when we were, when we were, and I said at the time at uh, Memorial that I staggered out of the cabinet room that day with the ferocity of what we were told and the shock and the, and the fear. And, uh, you know, but thankfully, thankfully, um, thankfully, and thanks to the heroic efforts of, of frontline staff and everybody else, nothing like that happened in our country. And unfortunately, we did lose a lot of lives, and one life won't too many. Um, some of them were lost in very, very dubious circumstances where people with COVID went into nursing, were put into nursing homes without telling them the management. But that's for another day. But at this, uh, I mean, you've lost. Uh, as I said, as we never have lost the support of the people, they've lost the confidence of the people. But you've lost uh, our support, and uh, one of the main reasons is um, opposition's duty is to scrutinise and examine and have pre legislative scrutiny. And to think that um, the teacher told me today, when I was asking as uh, in leaders' questions, which is a, a role I take very seriously, uh, about um, the, the benefit. And the benefit analysis, the, the, the analysis of the, how beneficial uh, the, the COVID certs have been, and how they, what impact they have made. Look for information to put brought before the house. He got out of it, no answer. In the lane fragger, okay, but he got out of it by saying that um, oh, it was taking too long. Uh, pre legislative scrutiny was too slow. I think that was an outrageous statement for a head of state in a democracy, in a republic, to state. So we just steam all ahead. Don't worry about the implications, just because it's, take, it's too, too, too slow. Not too slow, because you've got this power, and I said this last week too, Minister. You've got the power, and you don't know what it's like to be Minister for Health. And I wish you well, and you were appointed. I, I didn't wish you any, any animosity, uh, but you got the powers, uh, emergency powers from day one, so you don't know what it's like to be a Minister without this strong arm and signing these uh, statutory instruments. And I keep asking it, but you won't answer. Is it the big heavy hand of farmer whose hand is pushing you to sign these draconian pieces of legislation? And the Irish Council of Civil Liberties and Human Rights Organisations and all that, I've totally, totally. Uh, and they, they were with you for a long time as well. And we all, all many people's rights were trodden on and, and removed, but in the fear and in the, in, the, in, the, in the lack of time and space and distance. But now, to come up with this answer today, the Taoiseach, you could have uh, consulted after last November, sorry, after last July, you could have. Uh, Brought it in straight away in September for pre legislative scrutiny. Uh, you knew this was running, it was expiring in, uh, in February, and um, um, you waited until um, last Thursday evening week to give us the, not even the bill, but the, 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 the explanatory manor, uh, memorandum. So I believe that you and your officials in the Department of Health and whoever are just running right, running amok. You treat this house with total disdain. You just have to come in here and sit through it right away and keep the head down and say nothing. Don't listen to us. Our duty is to scrutinise. Our sovereign duty, we're elected for that reason, is to scrutinise. And the teacher today said that we hadn't time to take taking six months now as if to say people are being awkward or being belligerent. I don't know if anybody goes to any committee to be awkward or belligerent and ask questions and scrutinise. I did say last week that you were afraid to answer the questions that I wanted answered about the powers of detention that will be later amendments here. And um, that, that were in a pretty draconian. I had legal people uh, that, that went through the bill and, and, and got that. I know that Herocles members, colleagues of mine, were, were contacted and they said, it. there's nothing he's talking about. There's nothing like that in the bill. If that's the way, uh, uh, keep your head down and put a bag over your head and just vote blindly, of course it's in the bill. I want to thank again uh, the Lions for Justice, the people that helped me. Uh, to, 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 to compose and to, to go through and examine in detail and know what I'm talking about this because it's not easy to follow this legislation. You have a whole department and, and, and advisors and officials uh, to, 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 to do this. But the fact you wouldn't come to pre-legislative scrutiny, as I said, worse forgetting because the teacher to say today 
that we have, it, it, uh, pre legislative scrutiny was taking too long. It could take up six months, that's his words. I don't know if anybody would have delayed it for that length of time. You had a special health committee which um, an independent colleague, Deputy McNamara, was chair of, and that, their recommendations are gathering dust from her as well. So, I mean, and the sad part about it was, oh, said the opposition, all of us uh, were briefed weekly and fortnightly at, at, at worst, right through the start, right up to last October 12 months. So we have had, had, had a briefing with you and the Chief and Tarnister and uh, with uh, the Neffet. We had a, a briefing with Neffet two weeks ago. After 12 months, we haven't. So why lock us out of the situation? You need us, and the more support you have in legislation, the better. Why lock us out completely or disrespect the opposition cat plans that their views don't count, uh, their views uh, don't matter, and um, stop uh, because we're all in this together. We clearly are not. And you forgot about the opposition you know, when you needed them. And when you were in opposition, you were at some of those briefings with me and deputies Conan and others and, and from all the groups. And um, then when you, when you took over, you should know the value of them and the value of having a united approach and having, um, you know, we're not going to be after experts, but we certainly are going to defend. It's my duty to defend uh, the human rights and to defend uh, the liberties of people. And when I see them threatened, and when I'm, and I'd be called a tin hat brigade, never, all kinds of names, but when I have legal advice, advice to me that tells me exactly what's in the legislation, I, my, my antenna goes up immediately, because why do you need these powers? And as I said, you didn't lay before us any uh, segment of a report as to how many times those powers were used since they were introduced in 2020, whether they were used once, twice, 100 times, or whatever which I believe we should know when we renew legislation. It's rolling four pieces of legislation into one. They were all emergency, they were all rushed. None of them had pre legislative scrutiny, and we had no pre legislative scrutiny in this either. So I, I, I'm honestly very, very, very concerned, and that's why I call a vote at, after the second stage, and I will be calling any vote I can call. And as I said, I'll be answerable um, to, to, to the people, and I have made my best efforts to understand what's in this bill, uh, in spite of the limited time that we had before last week, uh, to, to understand it, but it's just not good enough. And I, as I said, the Chief would say this morning that pre led scrutiny was taking too long. I think this is an alarming statement for a head of state to say in any parliament that we can't discuss the legislation, we just take it from the, the drafters and just nod away and I won't be nodding anyway. That's one thing, sure and certain. I'll be a, a, a score, a gore, a gore on, on Bill Shin. I think it's draconian. I think it's rushed. And rushed legislation is bad anyway. And I, you've lost, as I said, you haven't lost. You've abandoned the opposition because you don't even brief us. So with, 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 and when you were replying, you might answer as to why we didn't have a briefing for 13 months. Uh, last October, late October uh, um, um, 20 when we had last had a briefing. So we had a briefing, as I said, uh, health spokespersons last Monday week, at Monday fortnight with some uh, the Neffet team, but that's all we had. So I'm totally um, supporting Deputy Gunan and this uh, amendment here. Thank you.